Yes, yeah, so the triangles are up on the are up there, but I'm gonna get somebody to prove them for me first. So somebody tell me how to get the 45, 45, 90 triangle, please. Yeah, Liam, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are the side lengths for this one? And that gets me a 45 because that's directly in half, and I have a 1 to 1 to root 2. Why the root 2? Because you're doing the same thing theorem, right? Right. So, like, 1 squared is 1 squared. Yeah. Okay. Good. Can someone else tell me how to do the 30, 60, 90 triangle very quickly? Equal. Equal lateral triangle. Very good. What about side lengths, please? Mm -hmm. one. Yeah. The reason two makes more sense is because since you're chopping it in half, we'll just make the bottom um, one. You make the bottom one. Like you could use one half in fractions, but you want to avoid that if you can. So that's going to go like this. Now again, these triangles you do not need to. Um, if you're somebody that likes to memorize things. You can just memorize that right hand side and you're, it'll be fine in life, okay? But probably be able to show them you don't have to remember anything then, right? You just, just throw them on the side of the page, okay? okay? All right, so I think I'm going to actually, since I conveniently had the first two people were side by side that raised their hands, I'm going to use Spider Man today for a nice change. Right. Can you be brave, please, to tell me what sine of 45 equals? So if you're sitting at the back of the side and you're not sure where that came from, what she did, hopefully, when she looked at the 45 degree triangle, sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so one over root two. Okay. Marissa, what is tan of 30 degrees going to be, please? No? Okay, so somebody help her here? Yeah, Leah, go ahead. Okay, so Marissa, just so we're good here. So all we're going to do is use the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So tan is going to be opposite over adjacent, right? So off and one over root two. Okay, great. This is looking a lot like yesterday's. Uh, cosine of 30. Square root of 3 over 2. So again, for 30, 3 over 2, that's looking good. And cotangent of 60, I'm going to do this over here again, half separately. All right. Can I see the what cotangent means? No. Can I see the number what cotangent means? That means 1 over tan theta. Thank you. So cotangent of 60. It's going to be 1 over 10 and 60. Okay. Summer, what is 10 60, please? 3 over 1. So it's just 1 over root 3. Okay, because 10 and 60 is just root 3 over 1. Are we, is everyone somewhat okay with where that came from? <laughs> I know, I'm a math teacher. Like, you do like 1 over 10 and 60, you're taking the elements together. Well, because 10 and 60 is just yeah, root 3. Yeah, like that's, yeah. Okay, so that's going to be times n. We're feeling sort of okay? A little bit? Yeah. Can you tell me please what 1 over root 2 times 1 over root 3 is? Very good. All right, now there's a nice little simplification I could make here. Austin, can you see how I can make that right hand thing for make nice? What does that turn into? Nope. Mm, sort of. One half. Who's that? You get one half. That's what they would say. Now, again, you could have also called it root 3 over 2 root 3, right? You could have done that, and but it would be a lot nicer. Okay, one half is a lot nicer. Okay. All right, Owen, how do I uh, simplify one over root six, please? What do I do with that? Yes, uh, not yet. I need a, a, but I want to get rid of the square root of the denominator though first, right? So how do you do to do that, Owen, or not really? Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Root six over six. Okay, so how we did that, we just talked about that a lot yesterday, right? You multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 6. Yeah. All right, Adria, how do I add root 6 over 6 plus 1 half? What do I do? Oh, the denominator, very good. So I do this over here if I have enough room. I'm going to call that root 6 over 6 plus 3 over 6. That works. 
And I can't do anything with that, so I'm just going to call that to be the plus root of root 6 plus 3 over 6. So there, because there's a root, I can't simplify that at all for that. Okay, now now's the time to be brave. We've done this three days in a row, so now it's time to ask questions. Yes, ma'am. Where's the 3 from? What, this one right here? Yeah. Well, we just, okay, so there we um, When you're... Um, when you have um, over six and over two, you're just finding a common denominator and add them, right? Okay. So one over two is just the same as three over six. Like you multiply the draw number by three, multiply the numerator by three. Okay. Right? So it's like adding that. Yeah. As long as you get that, then let your software tell you. Okay, right? But if you did, as long as you work it out, the question was, yeah, remember the way algebra works, right? There's always 25 ways to go from the top to the bottom, right? Okay? What you would need to show me on your test, so you need to at least show me this line, all right, what every single work out to be, and then some sort of simplification. So I'm going to hit the bottom of the now. Okay, the good question, because we were talking about this yesterday. So the question was, yesterday we did it, if this would turn into 4 root 6. The, the way the question was written yesterday, this is how it was written. Root 6 plus 3 root 6. It's like 1 of something plus 3 of something, right? But because there's no root 6 here, it's like trying to add together like x plus 3. Well, that doesn't equal 4, right? Like it's, you know what I mean? They're different things. So um, that's where that goes. All right, anybody else here? No? Okay, I'm going to do a very, very quick recap of yesterday. Um, and then I'm going to move on to today's lesson, okay? So uh, this is a very, very fast recap. The units are going to be visited. Okay, now this what we're doing here today um, is so important that I'm going to just do it again, the first half of the note, okay, because I need people to, everyone understand this, um, what we're doing today with the identities is horribly difficult, and I'm sorry that I keep saying horribly difficult, okay, but um, you have to fundamentally understand what's happened here, okay? Yeah, right? Incredibly difficult? Okay. Positively, can I say positively? Happily difficult, this is going to be today, okay? Uh, okay, so from based on this circle right here, Nicole, if I were to say sine of theta based on this triangle right here, what is sine of theta going to equal? Y. Okay, now where that came from? According to your, um, like lots of gates like hot right? Right, guys, please? So again, the opposite side is going to be y or adjacent, so it's going to be y over 1 or just 1. I told you that I told you yeah. stuff from last semester that you didn't do or yeah. like that? Yeah, anyway, I think that maybe I can do that. Okay, cos theta. Is going to be x. So for the same way, it's going to be adjacent over right block, which trace x over block, and that's good. Okay. And I guess I'll need to box all these. Um, and pair theta is going to be what? Oh, yeah, y over x is going to be small. Right? So that if you weren't here yesterday, that's what we did. We used a circle and all that. And I'm going to do one example involving a uh, negative angle, because you haven't seen that yet. And then I'm going to move on to today's lesson. Okay. So those three things that are written on the board are not hideously important. Positive, no. Smilingly important, okay? They're smilingly important, okay? So that's what they're going to do. All right, so here we go. Example one is going to say on a unit circle, or sorry, I'm going to say sketch uh, sine theta equals negative 0 0.2 and solve. Uh, zero degrees plus root to theta is less than three seconds. Okay, before we begin, I'm going to pick on Noah. Noah, when I say from zero to seven twenty, what does that mean? Okay, good. But as far as a circle goes, what is zero to seven twenty going to mean? Yeah, two revolutions around the circle. Okay, so what I want you to do is for this when we solve this, 
is I want you to solve it so there are lots and lots of solutions that are going on in the circle twice. Right. That's the fourth solution. You will, in fact, have four solutions, right? Because you're going to have two from 0 to 360 and another two from 0 to 720. Okay, so can someone from, I'm not going to pick on Hermanovich right now, but if he wants to answer, he can. Okay, actually, I'm going to pick on you. When I say sine, is that going to be x or y or slope, please? Good. So I'm going to, I'm going to this is the same as saying y equals negative 0.2. So I'm going to draw this on the graph. Here will be my beautiful unit circle. Note the beauty. And there's my beautiful y, there's my x, there's a 1, there's a 1, there's a negative 1, there's a negative 1. All right, so y equals negative 0.2 is going to be down here someplace, approximately. You can handle that, what's happened so far? Kylie, where will um, negative 0 0.2 intersect the circle? Do you guess or not? I'm not you, sorry. Right. So that, all right, somebody help me here, because this is difficult to go Yeah, happy birthday, by the way. Go ahead. Yeah, left and right. So, and we talked about quadrants here. I'm going to start to talk more about quadrants today, okay? So this would intersect in quadrant three and quadrant four. So there's quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Okay, so there's going to be my first angle, and this is going to be my second angle. Okay. Can you tell me, please, where zero degrees is on the inner circle? Adam, where's zero degrees going to be on the inner circle? No, not in the middle. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, on the right arm like this. Okay, so the reason I wanted to make a point of that, okay, because my red angle, my red theta is going like this. Okay. Where's my green theta going? Yeah, all the way around that, okay? So I'm going to do this. Now, I'm going to show you the difficulty in one sec with this question. Are we okay on the diagram before I, I'm going to give you a second to get the diagram down because there's a little bit of tri treachery, trickery, you know, by your teacher. Yeah, we'll deal with that. Okay. You always start at zero, right? Zero, this is always zero, like that's always the starting point. No matter which. No matter what you ever do in your life, okay? All right, so I'm going to solve this on my calculator, and I'm going to say sine of theta um, equals negative zero point two. Okay, uh, Skylar, what you got for your angle for theta when I say Skylar, I mean everybody. Actually, Thank you, Skylar. Okay. You said everybody. What was that? Negative okay. 11 point. How much? Okay. Point 0.3, you said? 5. 5. 5. 4. Okay. 11.5 ish. Okay. Yeah. All right. So oh, yeah. here's the thing. Where is negative 11.5 degrees on this circle? Bottom 3. Good. Okay. Um, why am I unhappy with this answer? And this is a really important part, okay, for this. Why am I have to this answer? Yes? Because it's between zero and Awesome. Okay. This question I don't like because that's, I'm putting an X beside that. It's not in our domain. Okay. Can someone think all the way back to earlier in the week and tell me how to get that green angle you said there? You're on fire. Go ahead. At 360, good. Okay. So what you're going to do to get the green angle is I'm going to do plus 360. And I'm going to get theta equals, what is that, 348.5. Yeah. And I'm going to put a little check beside that because that's in our domain. So did everyone see what I did here? I said a negative 11 degrees is what my calculator means. So back to here, negative 11 degrees points at this. But what I'm doing is I'm just going positive square 48 with the other alternative. Yes? When you like, put your negative 0.2 on and then you Okay, I'm looking for, good question, okay? You're starting, because this starts at zero, right? Okay, so a pot, if you're going to the green line, there's angle all the way around over here. All right, so. Why are you starting at that? Because this is always zero degrees. That's what we showed earlier in the week. That's, this is where zero degrees starts from. That's just exactly. So what does that have to do with that green triangle? Because this measure of negative, When you have sine of theta equals negative zero point two, that's like the y. It's, it's where it's where the y value intersects the circle. Okay, so this point right here is going to have a y value of negative zero point two. Okay, 
Okay, so this is going to be like, let's call it 0 0.9, whatever. And that's what that point will be right here. Okay? Um, the thing is, as far as the measure of an angle, the measure the start of the angle always is positive x axis. Okay, that's what always works. Now, I mean, I said I only want positive angles from 0 to 720. Your calculator calculated this little tiny angle because it's small. Okay, right? But we want to use the big ones, the one I was just asking you to find that. Why didn't we add 180? Or it's okay. We're going to in a second. Okay. Yeah, the question, okay, the question was why didn't we subtract 180? And that's what we're going to do right now. The reason we didn't there, Tristan, was um, we just wanted to get the positive and angle first. Okay, so we will get to the red one in a second. So as far as the way the red one's going to go, okay, what is theta of, like, when I put on my calculator, I get negative 11. What yeah. is that on that? Negative 11 is a little, this little tiny angle right here. Oh, okay. Okay, that's an angle 11. Is. I mean, it goes, <coughs> right, goes in the opposite direction then for that. Yeah. Okay, but we want the positive ones for the Yes. Question? You can. Three, six, that's like... So I'm just adding three. It is 360 minus 11.5 is this. Right. Yeah, that's why I did it. Yes. Because. Because. Because we're going to be changing this 360. It's going to change as we get more complicated questions. Okay, so try to stick with the style for right now. Okay, for this. Uh, as far as the red angle goes, I'm going to say what Liam said. He says you should have done 180 minus Mr. Sadler. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say that equals 180 is minus negative 11.5, which should give me 191.5. Is that a reasonable answer? And so can you justify why 191.5 is good according to my diagram? Yeah, go ahead. It goes all around 180 a bit more. Yeah, right? So the 180 is this black part here, right? And the little extra 11.5 is that little chunk of here. Now, here's the thing. We've been around the circle once. Can somebody tell me how I would get the angle? So what was the angle from 0 to 360? So no, I told you before, I've got to get around the circle twice. What do I do to get around the circle again? Yeah. Add 360 to both values. Add 360 to both values. So I'm going to do plus 360. And I get, what is that, 551.5. And here I'm going to do plus 360 again. 348. I get six, seven hundred eight point five. Now, as far as what those angles are, again, um, so we have I want to get this nice here: zero, ninety, one eighty, two seventy, three sixty, four fifty, five forty is here, and a little bit gets you to five fifty one. Uh, five forty will be left to that. Six thirty and seven twenty. So seven twenty will be there. So a little bit less than that. That's just seven twenty. Now, what we're doing here is tremendously difficult. Okay, right, it's difficult to visualize what we're doing here, okay? And when you get to graphing, this will help you make more sense. Yes, so how do we present these? You can just box like that. that. No, I can box like that. If you, some people will be kind and do this, so I can just give check marks and say theta equals So check, 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 four to four, and I can move on with the next test. So what would a question on the test be? What's that? What would a question on the test be? Just like that, just like that. Like that. Just like that. Okay. And there will be one in the next test that looks exactly like that. I'll say sketch, and there'll be a little piece of draft paper there, right? So I'll, I'll even tell you, I'll say sketch on the circle. I think on your assignment, there's one like that, too. Okay, so. And it's going to be negative, then the inverse sign of the negative. Isn't the answer? Not a, well, not yeah, always though. Just think if you did. I'll do one more with another negative for cold side. I'll get on to the same lesson. So um, here we go. So review. Okay. Can you go back? Yeah. Sorry, I was too excited. By the way, you guys should speak up. Am I going to put on this stuff? Maybe the person can stop. Yes. 
again, I told you guys this before, I've taught this course actually about last night. This is my 23rd time in this course. Okay, so I have done this in a circle example 23 years times. Okay, so for me, this is very, very easy for you guys to do it for 20 years for this example. Okay, so if I'm skipping over something or if I'm not being clear, please somebody stop me and say yes. So are you 17, 16 then because you're still young Right. Yeah. It's just been 60 days. Right on. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. So within a circle, there's always going to be two solutions, right? So if you touch a one on the circle twice, there's going to be more solutions, right? So yes. All right. Um, why can't you just add 720 there? I could have. I could have. Um, but it only gets. But the thing is, yeah, the, you want to get in the habit of doing 360 because even if um, within a circle, it's always going to work that way, right? Like because I was mean, I made the domain bigger. Um, you'd have to add the second 360, but you'll always have to do the first 360. Right? So that's how that's going to work. All right, I'm going to summarize again what we did yesterday. Okay, so another summary from what we did yesterday. So after still learning, learn how we're almost. So yeah, maybe I'll stop the video here. Give you guys a second to scribble if you're scribbling. Okay, perfect. Totally.